And a little bit of the... Let me see. Would this actually work? The bone meal on the mud blocks. Aha! It does! Hello there, my name is Uni, and welcome back to my 1.19 Let's Play series. I've got me a... Oh! A drowned trying to get me with a trident, but I got a trident of my own here. So let's go ahead and let's take care of this little guy. Just real, real fast. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. Goes back in the inventory slot. I almost never use these things, but anyways, let's go see if he dropped something. No, he's being a little bit, he's being a little bit mean and doesn't want to share his, uh, his toys or anything. But anyways, welcome back to another episode. We are out here in the coral reef area. And I am on the lookout for an ocean monument to try and get some materials for the build we have in store today. But I might as well stop by and look for some buried treasure while I'm at it because I need to get a conduit. Now I just got to find out where the heck this treasure is. It's always the uh, hardest part of it, but something tells me this might be a little easier this time. Let's... um get close to that X there and just start digging down Let's see if we can find this little tiny box I found it it only took me uh <laughs> it only took me uh build, like taking out an entire chunk to get this but dang all right here we go we have it now let's also go ahead and I need some iron I'll go ahead and collect that up and I believe I should also get all this stuff into a shulker box because I also have to put away all the sand that I've just dug up, I might as well go ahead and keep it because I will need to be using this for today's build. But let's go ahead and gather up our treasures and head out to the Ocean Monument. Aha! Here we go. We have one. Finally, this took forever to find. Oh my goodness. I have traveled a few thousand blocks out to get to this place. But now we can go ahead and finally settle down. Let's make a base of operations somewhere along here. Right about. Not too close. Uh, let's get um, maybe over here. I don't want to get the mining fatigue quite yet. But I'm going to go inside of here in just a second. And oh, hello, little fishies. And we're going to go ahead and raid this place. All right. Let's get going on this thing here. going to have to lose my night vision for a second. But I got one again, so I'll just put it back on. And I gotta sleuth out where that little little guy is and get his little sponge. And then once all of them are gone and I don't have to worry about mining fatigue anymore, I can start taking out some supplies from this place and actually get some progress going. But now I have to figure out where the heck he is because I always get lost in these places. Aha! Here he is, the last one. I've already been through here a bit. And I just gotta get him taken care of real fast. I've already lost all my potions because I keep having to drink that dang milk. But this should be pretty quick. All I gotta do is get rid of him. There we go. Drink some milk, get some, uh, some food. And now I shouldn't ever get mining fatigue again and I can finally breathe some fresh air. But yeah. So now that that's taken care of, I can come through here now and get all the supplies I need. Let me get back to my little base of operations over here. And then I will be back with you guys because we are going to get started on more secret project builds. Ah, home sweet home. We are back at the base and I am here getting ready to start on more secret project stuff. I don't want to give away quite what it is because you will see after the time lapse what we're going for. But... We have this up here. I worked on this off camera, made this mezzanine sort of area or second story to overlook the first and lower stories to have uh, an entire array of things that you will see in just a second. And I'm going to build them with the materials that I just got from that ocean monument and as well all the other materials that I have collected up. Also, there will be a staircase here. I won't have to jump down every now and again. But we are going to get started on this in just a second. There's a lot of glass going on here. Probably won't use it all, but we are going to have to hop into that time-lapse mode right now because it is time.
It doesn't take too long to get burnt out from a project, and I am very close right now to that because this, oh man, this this took multiple days of going on and off and doing all the time lapsing and whatnot, and we have the entire first story done of this part of our aquarium. Yes, we are building an entire indoor aquarium. All these different areas that I've been digging out over here, over there, over here and up there have been specifically for this particular project. And that is for all my little fishies. But I have a bunch of other materials here and I have this entire aquarium in here as well that I need to fill up and complete before the end of the day and before the end of this episode. This is going to be saved for another episode, potentially for building the upstairs area but I'm just now realizing I need to grab some moss blocks because I have to fill in the insides of this. You'd think I'd come more prepared for these kinds of videos and stuff, but honestly, I'm not really one to uh, remember the most important things or the most easiest of things. Um, usually I ended up just completely forgetting things <laughs> where they even were. Like these, these were in one of the shulker boxes and I completely just hovered over it, but um, we're just going to ignore that for now because I am doing what I said I would do. And that is get this built. Now, we're going to have this in a way to where we just have a random assortment of like plants and flowers and stuff being displayed on this. Now that we have that out of the way, we can get inside here. And I am placing these little pieces of moss in order to create an area for us to actually... Oh, I should probably get out of here first. Uh, we're creating an area to place all of our little flowers down and be able to see the display. So let's actually grab a few here. And that should be good for now. And what it'll do is it'll look kind of like this. And let's actually, yeah, just replace all those. Grab a few more fancy flowers here. Get some corn flour and whatnot. We also want a little bit of color, so we're going to add in just a bit extra there. Oh my god, I'm okay. I'm <laughs> just going to get rid of all my tools. And we're going to throw every flower I have at this and see what sticks. But I like this one here. There we go. And we can put this guy there. Ah, yes. Um, that'll be for every single panel that's open. And with these last few flowers being plopped into place here, we are finally done with this little wall. Let me make sure I have... Oh, yeah, okay. So I don't have that many more. Let's actually grab this guy. Um, oops. Got to put my thing back into my inventory there. Uh, we don't want duplicates. And we also don't want... Uh, yeah, we'll put that there. We don't want um, holes in our wall either. But let's put these down here. Just like that. And I believe... Yeah, we have a nice little wall here. And it's just a decorative thing. There's going to be some benches up against it as well. But that is it for this wall. And now we have to actually work on this aquarium. And the cool thing about this, even though I don't have the roof done yet or the ceiling for it, is that this is going to be where the glow squid are hanging out. Now, the other thing about glow squid is they spawn below Y32, I believe. So um, it's going to be easy for us to get them to spawn in here. And then all I have to do is just name tag like three or four of them and they'll be there forever. So let me just go ahead and fill this little thing up. And now my thirst is quenched. We have it completely filled up. I do have to finish the ceiling here, but we're actually going to wait for some glow squid to spawn inside of here because for now I want to kind of take you around what I've built. Um, the ceiling here or second floor underside, I suppose, is just a bunch of cross beams for support. It's kind of like a visual representation of what would be in an actual aquarium when there are two stories. And we also have this sort of amphitheater style uh, viewing point of this entire other aquarium here that spans both stories. And if we walk over here, you'll notice I have built a staircase to get up and down. That was off camera, but it was necessary and it's kind of boring. But um, eventually there will be more stuff all in here. And for now, this is the way up to the upper story, which has a layout for another tank. And I will have to move my uh, beacon one day there, but I'm going to leave it for now because it is helping me out. 
and we have a ledge to look over into this tank which as you can see has a gradient of blocks going up and down i'm also realizing i don't have anything in my inventory right now because i just got out of uh, spectator mode on my alt account um i could get free cam but i'm just going to keep doing this for now because it works for me um and that is going to be for the next episode here this upper area i still have some work to do on the tank in this wall and there's going to be a tank here as well but um for now Let's go ahead and get back down here, and we will wait to see what spawns inside that tank right there. Well, I've been waiting here for a little while, trying to wait for a squid to spawn, and nothing so far, but I did put a little salmon in here. Uh, he's somewhere. Oh yeah, there he is. And we got the roof on, or the ceiling, I should say. And let's go ahead and jump in here, because I might as well just start making the interior of the entire thing. And one thing I want to do is I want to cover up this whole place with mud um, because I realize this is more like an abyssal plain than an actual um, like shallow sea. And in abyssal plains, there are uh, quite a lot of uh, silt, muds, and clays that just settle to the bottom. I think it's very murky. Um, I don't think I actually have enough for this, so I'll have to go back up and get some more mud. But this is the general idea here. We just cover up the whole thing. I might even make a lower section that isn't too bad. But the last thing we want to do, and oh my, it is storming up there, is we'll want to put a little bit of kelp and a little bit of the... Let me see. Would this actually work? The bone meal on the mud blocks. Aha! It does. All right, perfect. There we go. And then let's go ahead and make this even deeper over here. Oh, that won't help my squid spawning, that's for sure. Um, and this is going to be mud as well, so let's put that down. And I think just a little further, I have enough blocks for it. we we'll make it nice and wide. It needs to be deep. This needs to feel like almost a Mariana's Trench sort of vibe. But once we have these down, and this darn redstone covered up so that my squid will spawn, uh, we will be able to... Oh, not enough. That's okay. Um... Let's just throw these back down. It'll be mud anyways. Just like this, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then we'll just kind of throw some kelp down. It's going to be big old pillars of kelp. That should help us get the feel of this tank going. Okay, here we go. We now have the last of the mud being placed. And I've got my air bubbles nice and full. So we can go through here and let's start bone mealing up and also getting this kelp down. And there isn't going to be much color to this because it's supposed to be very dank and dark. Um, but once the glow squids spawn in, you know, they're going to be like this, the main central point of this entire place. And I'm also going to have to let all this stuff grow because they're going to have to swim around and through it. And here we go. Let's just grab some of that there. It's going to be very thick at the bottom. Because things have been floating down and fertilized and growing. Um, it's not super, super down there. I mean, if it really was, it would have no vegetation whatsoever. But because this is Minecraft and I want things to have, you know, sort of a feel to it. We're going to go ahead and put that vegetation down here. Because, I mean, otherwise I'll just be looking at a blue wall with nothing. Well, unfortunately, we will have to wait for the next episode in order to actually name our squid. That will be spawning hopefully soon. Um, I've been waiting probably a half hour now, uh, enough time to make these little like, uh, benches and whatnot around the area. Um, and I've also included a little bit of this stuff to kind of get a nice little feel for it. Um, yeah, there we go. We'll just, uh, add these little pieces in. It'll, it'll make it feel nice and, uh, deep sea-ish. And we'll just get these all in place here. Okay. Perfect. There, we have a nice little median thing. Um, more bamboo can go here. And this time I will actually... Can I stand on top of that? I don't think I can. Doesn't seem like I can. But we'll get those in place as well. And I will show you the names. It was going to be Squilliam, of course, from Spongebob. Uh, I believe it is his brother or, um, cousin. Pretty sure it's his cousin. And then Trentacles. <laughs> I kind of laughed a little too hard at that one when I first came up with it. It was like, oh my god. 
This is perfect. I don't know if this is already a, a joke or a thing in the SpongeBob universe, but it should be. So I'm going to make it in my own little little universe here. But that, I believe, is it for this episode today, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Now, this has been Uni. I'm jogging it out. And I will see you guys next time.